This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is July 31st, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We've been talking this week about spiritual practices, how in diverse ways they serve to ground us, to connect us with the source of our being and help provide a kind of spiritual continuity in our lives. Prayer, meditation, scripture, these are all good practices. But the question that seems impossible to avoid is this, when do I have time to do these things? So the last spiritual practice for the week is this, Sabbath. Sabbath is nothing more, and indeed nothing less, than treating time where we relinquish any expectation of productivity as a spiritual practice. When I started seminary, years ago, during the first week it was explained to us that an expectation of students at that seminary is that we would keep a Sabbath. Now what that did not mean was that we, we were not expected to do certain religious observances once a week. What it did mean was that it was important, and indeed an expectation, that we would take one 24-hour period a week away from ministry and away from our coursework. That 24 hours could be catching up on laundry or spending time with family or taking time for longer prayer or meditation, whatever it was, it was a time to feed our souls, to fill up our reserves once a week. Well, it turns out that 24 hours is a lot easier an expectation when you are a seminarian in your 20s than, well, uh, where I am now. But the practice remains important and is consistent across cultures. Stacy grew up in a family that gathered on Friday nights to eat a meal and to share blessings with each other. For us now, Saturdays of bike rides and waffles create time that isn't about being productive. It's about being with each other. And this is important for so many reasons. I, I could talk about how our mental health is better when we prioritize it, or how studies show that folks who intentionally take time away from their responsibilities are usually more productive than people who press on 24-7. But that's not the point. We get one life to live. And Sabbath teaches us that during that one life, it is appropriate, maybe even expected, that we slow down and take moments to savor the beauty that's in our lives. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.